Tazdingo! Yes! Hey guys, Jer here, aka Miso Honey, back in with another video. And we had the mini set drop yesterday. And hey, Evolve Shaman is definitely tier 1 right now. 100% um, tier 1. <laughs> uh, not only did Blazing Transmutation, uh, it's a 5 star card, it easily, 5 star card. It has allowed the deck to not play cards like Wild Paul Cavern, which are really, really slow and were really bad in this deck. Um, it also gives you an additional consistency with cards like Goldshire Null, obviously being the big combo piece here. Uh, it also makes a card like Presence really, really good. Uh, obviously here, you still have Convincing Disguise with all the totem, obviously your hero power you know, totaling up. You still have Muck Pools, which is really good, um, obviously, and you still get to play a little bit of Cycle with Wind Chill and Farsight, and Farsight can obviously wheel you into a high roll with, like, a 2-mana Volgin or a 4-mana Glug or a 5-mana Brukan or, you know, so on and so forth here. You can just high roll into some absurd... Things even a zero mana schooling is usually pretty good with uh, Goldshire Null because you can combo it on the same turn. Then uh, this deck is just really really good. I, eh, I would play this deck um, if you have the cards for it. If you don't have the cards for it, I don't know if I would exactly go out and craft. If you're spending two thousand gold for the mini set. I would spend the 2,000 gold for the mini set, uh, for sure. I think Blazing Transmutation is going to get hit with a nerf in the next set of nerfs. And I think Mud Pools could be the other card that gets hit with a nerf. I think this might go up to 2 mana also. Uh, getting 3 uses out of this is just uh, like absurd. It'll either go to 2 mana or go to 2 durability. One of the two. And I think Blazing Transmutation will go to 2 mana. I even said in the review that I think I would pay 2 mana for this effect and be happy with it, and it's definitely the case. It like it is so much better than just like randomly evolving into something. It's not even close. Um, but this deck is absolutely absurd. I've been having you know good a good run with it here at Top One Thousand Legend, and I could definitely recommend this deck. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you up here too much because this deck is pretty self-explanatory. It's been around for a little bit. It just got a few additional pieces with the mini set here, and we're going to get right into the game. So if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I want a hero power or not. Make some use up these weapons. Syrian uh Earth, uh 
five. Turn. So we're going to do this next turn. Way better now. Well, now I think I do do this. It's cost reducted by two. Let's do this. Oh, actually, it's. I don't know if it's good enough, but I don't think you can take three here, right? Let's give some corpses, but... I stop going first. Hundred percent has the Omega combo. Well, maybe not. Schooling, nice. <clears throat> so I can pop next turn. He's gonna go. Uh, prescience here. Okay. More bones 
Raid boss is really nice, but the Nathrius sets me up actually really nicely. And he already used the coin up. I can only play two of these. Okay, so he has to trade everything in though. That's actually pretty nice for me. Now I can actually play the presents. I think I actually want to get these down, so I'm going to go ahead and play one. Yeah, I was going to say, he seemed to want to play his really badly too. I think I have to risk. Mm. Not necessarily, I guess. Just make him have to put the investment into this. I could have gambled on my uh, on this, traded everything in, and played a glug that turn. This was definitely the safer play because you can't replay the glug this turn. No glug. Why do people still play this card it's so bad? It's gonna muck pulls into a six. Should offset the muck pools, I think. Yeah. I don't know what the thinking was there, but maybe I play my glug now. Is my glug better here? than his glug. It probably is, right? Because I'm a turn ahead, so if I play my glug this turn, he plays his, wait, he, has, he actually has to clear some board space for his glug. Then I can do this, or if he doesn't kill it, everything here, I could possibly kill him on a Bloodlust crackback. But I also have Brucon at the ready here. He might just freeze this, in which case I'm okay with actually. I'm okay with him just like trade this 2 2, and maybe he'll play a Glug, uh, kind of half baked. Looks like though he's gonna go. Maybe for like a primordial wave here. 
No, he's gonna play Glug with two attachments. One attachment. Uh, Glug with one attachment is not very good. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna pick up a lot of stats here. It's gonna pick up uh, eight health total. So now I gotta kind of do. I gotta do math here. I don't really want this to live. Is the thing. It's gonna pick up eight health total. Uh, but it's only going to pick up, it's going to pick up a decent amount of attack, actually, too. Maybe I presence here. Maybe I do this. Trade. I don't really like playing the trading game like this, but... He's got two muck pulls at the ready here. I have a convincing at the ready here too, but he's only got one left. And he can only play one of these. Hmm. All right, well, I got the mud pool. Um, so I'm going to hit here. That's good enough. I also only have one thing left in my deck. I kind of want to draw it, and at the same time, I kind of just want to play this. Um... I think I'm going to slap for three. I think I'm going to let this go. I think I'm actually going to play uh, my little rush minion and go ahead and draw. I think I'm just going to go all in here. It may seem like a weird play leaving off the 3-4 because it can freeze my biggest minion, but I have Bloodlust in my hand. So I'm kind of like... Tapering off. I know he has Neptulon and uh, this thing in his hand, so he's got to go through these taunts. He's also got to deal with the Glug. I think he should, yeah, I was going to say, he should hit this and then try to evolve. There you go. I mean, odd cards are going to be some fishies, probably. <laughs> oh, you can actually kill the 10-10. Problem is, I have Neptulon in my hand. Does he not play... Oh, you know what? He might not play uh, Wind Chills. Maybe... I was gonna say, he knows I have Nepshalon. Because I only drew one minion. Hasta la vista, baby.